Welcome Virgo and welcome to your September 2022 reading. Happy birthday to you guys and welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You're watching GYU Tarot. This is going to be for my beautiful sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Virgo. So if you have any of those planets in Virgo, this reading may resonate with you as well. And also know that these readings are general readings, so not all of these readings will resonate with you. So just take the bits and pieces of the reading that I do and get rid of anything that doesn't and also never make a reading work for you as well as it fully, re it fully resonates and it is meant for you from spirit. And then also these readings are, are timeless type of readings. So they can resonate whenever they're called to you or whenever they sh show up in your feed whenever you decide to click on the reading, okay? So also know that I have my contest going on. It's my ongoing contest. So if you have the most views and or likes combined, then you won't be at the bottom, at the very bottom in the next month. You will be right after the birthday sign of Libra next month for go. And also, um, if you could please like, share, and subscribe, that really does help me grow my channel as I would like to be able to be freed up and give you more content. But do know that I have a lot going on and and also, it, yeah, I have a lot going on. just want to keep it at that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what it is that Spirit wants to tell you, Virgo, for the month of September. What is it that Virgo needs to know, Spirit, for the month of September? What can we tell Virgo for the month of September? What is it that Virgo needs to know, Spirit? for the month of September. What can we tell Virgo for the month of September? Just that Virgo needs to know for the month of September. So this is about for you, what's going on with you. Okay. It's, you have the lovers in reverse. We have the six of pentacles. And then we have the three of swords in reverse. Okay, so we're going to do it as the past, present, and future. And so with a lover's card in the past, you're feeling like you're, you haven't been able to make this choice for go. There's this feeling of not being able to make this choice or being feeling restricted with the lovers in reverse. So if you have this feeling of feeling restricted or not being able to make a choice somewhere in your life, whether it be love, um, commitments of work, your own business, wherever that applies where you're, you haven't been able to make some type of decision or there's a lot of different options that you have to make choices from um, you felt like you weren't able to make some sort of decision but currently um, with the six of pentacles you're giving your energy to a direction in regards where you feel that it's going to be most beneficial for you currently so it looks like currently you've made a choice and where you're giving your energy to currently and, you, and you're sticking with it. You're sticking with it feeling that it's going to um, grow. You made this decision currently. And then with the three of swords in reverse, I do like to see this in reverse because it is this end of a heartbreak. And so you felt like the direction where you made this choice in the future, you're going to be getting out of this heartbreak situation or headache situation. You're not letting it affect you with the choice you have made is what I'm getting in here. So take how that applies in your life or what is going on. Again, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be your work situation. It could be your business situation. It could be a family situation, even friendship, okay? So let's go ahead and um, go deeper into what is going on with you Virgo for the rest of the month or whoever you're thinking of or who's thinking of you what is it that Virgo needs to know for the month of September so we have the hair font in reverse and so we'll go ahead and take these four cards we have the king of wands in reverse 
we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Hanged Man in reverse. Okay. So, with the Hierophant in reverse, there's someone or some someone that is not very spiritual or someone it could be also that with the hierophant in reverse um someone that wants to get out of this status quo type of energy so it could be that someone's not very spiritual or someone that wants to get out of the um the type of energy that other people want them to be in or what other people pigeonhole this person to be in this person does not want to be in this type of energy or it could also mean like I had mentioned someone that's not very spiritual or not someone that's not getting the best advice from someone who is a very spiritual leader who they trust um, they're not getting the best advice and with the king of wands in reverse this person um, Could also be abusing their power with the um, type of information that they're getting and they're not very Truthful I'm getting with this ace of swords They're not able to make a decision on things or they're wishy-washy with the lovers in reverse and they're giving away their energies to um, people who are who are not the best for them because we have reversals underneath this with the king of wands it could be someone that is very manipulative of their energy that they're giving it to so someone is very much abusing their power and um, it's like they're using their per your person with this uh, six of pentacles um, by manipulating them by uh, giving them making them give them their power because um, with the six of pentacles in reverse like i said it's an abuse of power it's someone that has a stranglehold over them because this person is giving um something of importance to your person where it's it feels like it's an injustice here because it can, with the king of swans in reverse and then the ace of swords in reverse it's not honest it feels like the sense of injustice and um someone is abusing their power with the hair of wands in reverse here and again king of wands in reverse but anyways i don't want to repeat myself here i feel that i am with the three of swords in reverse this person um i feel like there could be another person involved here but this person again i feel has something on them and it causes a lot of heartbreak it feels like this person is not free with this hangman in reverse as they would want to be free and so let's go ahead and get some more clarification in, in regards to what else is going on here i do feel that someone is like keeping money from them is what i'm getting here with the six of pentacles and then the king of wands in reverse with the ace of swords it feels like a, something that's very dishonest and someone is not wanting them to live their life with the three of swords in reverse because it's causing a lot of heartbreak okay so with the seven of wands in reverse here and then the king of pentacles so it feels like with the seven of cups in reverse that there's someone is wearing a mask here and is very manipulative it could be the someone that your person is dealing with is a trickster and is very manipulative and again is abusing their power and um 
it's, it feels like this threatening type of energy because it involves money with the six of pentacles it's very um injustice with the ace of swords in reverse or there's no truth being said here and it's about money with this king of pentacles or it could be that this is you virgo that they view you as this king of pentacles energy someone that's very grounded is able to take care of themselves um, is stable um, maybe a business person as well is what we're getting here but I, I do feel as we see as we get recap this of what's going on with this person is this person is feeling very stuck and not being able to make choices with the lovers in reverse there is this abuse of power that's going on where they're not able to speak truth um, and it feels like there's someone else involved that is controlling the situation with um, manipulation wearing a mask and is toxic with the seven of cups and of re in reverse they're dealing with someone that's very toxic but they do view you as someone that is grounded able to take care of themselves has this good energy about them and in every level in their personal their their work situation or business situation um, someone that's very grounded and earthy is how they view you Virgo so I'm gonna go ahead and see what it is that this person wants to tell you with the hidden truth what is it that this person wants to tell you Virgo for the month of September what is it that this person wants to tell Virgo for the month of September I want you this is what this person wants to be around you and wants you but they feel like they can't leave this situation it feels like it's because whoever they're dealing with has a stronghold over them or is threatening them for some sort of reason it has to do with some sort of monetary situation and it doesn't feel like a love situation because I don't see any cups here it has to do with covering this truth and it's very much surrounded with illusions and so this person wants to tell you that they want you and what is the messages of love that this person also wants to express or what it is that you need to know trust it is safe to trust in this situation interesting they're saying it is safe for you to trust i mean it feels like divine timing that whatever is happening needs to play out the way that it should and to trust in what happens it doesn't mean that you're sitting around waiting but it doesn't mean also that you should put your energy of worry into any situation where there may be some sort of past attachment is what i'm getting here or whoever you may be dealing with but just to trust in what happens needs to happen for whatever reason and that you still go on in your merry way um, and I'm saying that in a kind manner because whatever's happening in your life is going good with your the king of pentacles energy and to focus on you and anything at hand and whatever it is that you want to grow and manifest in your world because you have this um this energy about you with this king of pentacles of growing continuously growing moving away from difficulty and being able to to be the suit of the king of pentacles the top suit to grow your business to 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 do the self-care for yourself to have direction to see clearly in what it is that you want to grow for you in good health and so let's go ahead and um see what else is good what else that virgo needs to know what else does virgo need to know here there's healing going on yeah so trust in healing what spirit wants to tell you just trust that healing's happening whether it's really is health wise with your heart or some kind of health situation that you need to be aware of 
or it could be that you're healing from not having to worry and just moving on because when you put your energy in yourself you're manifesting the best life ever with this king of pentacles energy that you are and so let's just wrap it up with some Dorian Virtue cards and yeah call it a month for your birthday continue on with your birthday month what is it that Virgo needs to know spirit for the month of September reconciliation and getting to know each other okay so reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life and it could be just that someone from your past is returning to your life it doesn't have to be relationship it could be friendship of reconciliation it could be in any kind of situation where there is this understanding it could be in the workplace where there's an understanding it could be again with family members just put it in whatever situation but it doesn't mean of getting back together just know that it could just mean that understanding to be able to let go of this energy of being stuck or worry and being able to let that go and then having that understanding reconciliation so that's that beautiful energy it's peaceful and reconciliation is about peace so it could be that coming back together but it could also be amicably amicably be i can't say the word right now but being able to let go peacefully okay getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So it could be if you do reconcile with someone that it's this energy of coming together and working things out, really getting deeper within each other of understanding, having that deep understanding and being able to move forward in this way of communicating to each other. So it's beautiful, wherever situation you find yourself in. These are really beautiful cards to see because it's peaceful in the end. Reconciliation, getting to know each other. It's that peaceful way of overcoming a situation. And so I love your reading for the month of September, Virgo. I hope you loved it. And I hope you guys again have a great birthday. If you have the most views and or likes combined, like I had mentioned, then you will be right after Libra and not at the end for next month. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you next month. Thank you. Bye.